All right, hey again, AP Chemistry. So here is your or our setup for the molar volume of hydrogen gas lab. Um, all of the directions are in the Google Doc and the printed handout that you have, but there are some changes and there are some shortcuts for us. So you're gonna need to get a 400 milliliter beaker and put it about three quarters or about 300 milliliters of water in there. And you could stand your uh, burette tube um, with the rubber stopper down at the bottom for in it right now. Um, and you're going to put it in the water. The first step is getting 15 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and filling it in the burette tube. Um, when I'm talking about first step, I'm talking about first step of using this tube. So before you do anything with your magnesium ribbon coiled onto the rubber stopper with the copper wire, you're going to put 15 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in this tube. Now do it slowly. So you're going to put in the rubber stoppers on the bottom, so if you could see, I'm going to take this out of here. This has a solid rubber stopper on the bottom. Um, you could keep it on here or you could hold it. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to tip this on the side and slowly pour the hydrochloric acid into the tube. And so now that goes into this burette, which we're going to call our audiometer. An audiometer um, is a tube that's used for collecting and measuring the volume of gases that are evolved in reactions. Um, we do not have audiometers here, so we're going to be using this burette. Okay. Um, now the next thing you want to fill, so this was filled um, not all the way, but you want to fill it um, with the hydrochloric acid and then when you want to slowly add, we're going to use tap water. I'm going to tip it again and I'm going to slowly add tap water until it's all the way at the top. Slowly. You don't want to crash it into there because you don't want to mix the hydrochloric acid in the water right away. So I'm slowly adding this water until it gets all the way to the top and you're not going to want any holes. And make sure you know that the volume of this empty space that has no graduated markings, in your lab it says the ungraduated space, that means the ones that don't have white lines, this volume up here and down here of empty space is a total of seven milliliters. So you're gonna have to add that into your volume measurement a lot later. So if you get a certain volume, let's say you get 20, that looks like a, at how much of the gas evolved, you're gonna have to add seven and really 27 milliliters of gas evolved. Um, so you're adding that volume back, okay? Um, now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your rubber stopper and your rubber stopper here that's hollow has the magnesium ribbon coiled into the copper wire. You're gonna slowly put it into here. It's okay if some little water uh, comes out. And you're gonna stopper that. Nothing is happening yet because all of your hydrochloric acid is at the bottom here. You're gonna hold the bottom and you're gonna slowly invert it and put it into the water. And then what you could do is make sure it's not at the bottom. You could clamp it into this burette stand and leave it in there. You might get like a bubble or two, but what you m will notice is you'll see your hydrochloric acid is starting to move down the tube. That hydrochloric acid that was um, that we got before is a little bit more dense, so it's going to start moving down, and you'll know the reaction has started when you have bubbles. Okay, and now a couple of things. Again, you are going to be adding um, a volume of empty space that has occurred. So, like, if there's no marks at the top. Um, and you don't know that volume, and I'm gonna say that that volume is seven milliliters. So you're adding seven milliliters back when you get your volume later. Um, then there is a step, and it's in your procedure where it says fill a 500 milliliter graduated cylinder with tap water. You're, you're gonna skip steps, steps 14, 15, and 16. You are not going to put this into a gigantic graduated cylinder. Um, I already did that, and you get the same answer, or about 0.5 more or less, so doesn't matter. So you're gonna wait for this reaction to occur. I've timed it before, it should take about five minutes. I'm not gonna keep this here for the entire five minutes, but I just wanted to wait until the hydrochloric acid gets down there so you could see it. Um, the reaction should take about five minutes, and then you're gonna wait to make sure that it's settled. You might already start seeing some bubbles forming in here, so I'll zoom in a little bit. You see some, let's see, we're seeing bubbles kind of form, ah, it's kind of blurry. Let's see if I can get this a little bit more. Here we go. You see bubbles forming. It's gonna start bubbling vigorously very soon. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get empty space eventually up here. And um, the gas that's produced, which is hydrogen gas, 
is going to move down the liquid layer and fill in the tube. You are going to be reading this volume later on, and that volume is going to be equal to the volume of hydrogen gas that was evolved. You're also going to be looking up online the atmospheric pressure. You're going to go to weatherchannel.com and you're going to get the barometric pressure. It's going to be in inches of mercury. You're going to take that number and you're going to multiply by 25.4 and you're going to get your millimeters of mercury. And then you have to convert that to atmosphere for the purpose of this lab. As you can see, we have a lot of bubbles occurring. I'll go over here again. I'm going to end this video here. We have bubbles and the reaction occurring a lot. Okay, this is all of the hydrogen gas that's being produced in this lab. When you add solid magnesium to hydrochloric acid, you will get hydrogen gas and magnesium chloride, which is aqueous. And we're going to talk about aqueous reactions in our next topic. And you can also start seeing at the top that a bit of empty space is forming. I'm going to try and get this to be stable. But you can see at the top that the gas is taking up the space. Oh, you can't see that. All right, so your hydrogen gas is filling up in this tube. You kind of see with the, let's see if I can get a little bit more stable. Okay, and what you're gonna do is when this reaction is done, this is gonna be down somewhere where you can make a measurement. You're gonna read it from top to bottom. It starts at zero up here. You're gonna read the measurement and that's gonna be your volume of hydrogen gas that has evolved in this reaction, and that's it. And it's a very simple reaction, it should take about five minutes, and you're gonna do two trials with this, okay? Alrighty, that is all AP Chemistry. Make sure you watch this video so you know about the very quick and simple setup and little bit of changes that you need to know for this lab.